Like, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, I know this next one is all of it because I know you love their market share numbers. Oh, oh, we actually covered this some in uh, uh, PC versus Mac, but have you read this report? Yeah, I saw both the Mac Rumors one and what Comscore says. So yeah, I, I, like talking about it, they're talking about all of iOS, and then they'll go. You know, it, look, it, 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 give it enough more time, and then tablets will be dominated by Android. I mean, it's not a. It's well, no, 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 let's, what, 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 let's move on. It, is it? Does it mean Apple's going to lose any money? Probably not. Well, no, no. Uh, well, well, they well, general will decline. I, I, I don't. I still just don't understand how people. What, what, what people. Seeing a tablet versus maybe a MacBook Air or, or something, I, I, I have yet to see a tablet other than um, Rim, Rim's Playbook and um, the touchpad that can do things fully and, and, and quick and snappy. The Zoom and, and the Samsung tablets, I, 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 they're clunky. And, and the iPad, I can't, I can't use it. So I, I don't know. I don't know what people are doing with it. Uh, uh, did you just say like all the Android tablets are shit? I just said the Samsung one would seem clunky to me, yeah. Uh, Marcel, yeah? are you smoking the Apple Kool-Aid? <laughs> I declared the iPad useless. Last night, the touchpad's not getting very good reviews on the initial thing, at least that's what I've heard. Well, the, te the touchpad does so far everything that I've tested it to do, and so does Rim's Playbook. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm, just, I'm just going by on what I saw from the point of view of like what uh, was it, what was coming out about it. I mean, for the, for, I mean, as far as Rim goes, I mean, they they didn't seem to have much luck either. Uh, the Rim is getting guy. We've turned into PC V Mac. Rim's getting cooked because uh, Rim's trying to be a hodgepodge between being Rim and being a consumer device, and the reality is that just doesn't work. You're either RIM or you're a consumer device, so you create a whole other line to be a consumer device. Because if you try and meet them halfway, they're going to go, "Hey, why aren't you over here?" And it's a, it's a lose lose on both sides. It, it really is. Like they need to they need to stick to what they're good at and stick to their niche. But, or like you were saying, create a secondary set of devices. You know the Samsungs that I uh, played with. I don't know. They didn't seem, but they just didn't. I don't know. They they didn't seem. I don't know. As I don't know. It, it, it just it didn't seem like it made it made sense. See, I like gestures on 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 on, on a tablet. They're quick and, and less clicking. And see, both WebOS and QNX provide yeah, that. I, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. Um... Android, and they multitask the same way. Android does not multitask that way. No, it, it, yeah. What what Android is going more for like a widget based thing, and so what which, which I happen to like. But no, that is not gestures and so on. And the, the, pretty much the only gesture in Android is swiping from desktop to desktop or the the kaleidoscope thing. Uh, excuse me, the carousel or whatever. It's like short of that, there's not really a lot of gestures and so on and, and honeycomb. Um, speaking of Samsung, you know, skipping around a little bit, um, wh what do you think about this rumor that Apple may, you know, take the A6 chip away from Samsung? And uh, oh, well, they, it's all it is is uh, who's going to fabricate? It's not yeah, a, I, it's I, an I, arm license, and who's going to fabricate it for them? So. Uh, I, well, no, and, and you know, I, given the source on this, I'm not sure I, I like, I, I, it wouldn't surprise me if this happened, and it wouldn't surprise me if it's not. I mean, this is an Apple Insider article, which means, you know, oh, we take Apple's side, and we have to, they have to save themselves from the evil Samsung who <laughs> makes their stuff. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, like, wh whatever. I, uh... Uh, although if Apple keeps suing Samsung like they're doing, that's see like here like Walt Mossberg. I don't know. I just I I actually stare this man down and, and go toe to toe with what the hell is he talking about? It's no match for the iPad. What, what what are they talking about? See, I mean to me, the iPad is absolutely useless. I don't even know what I would do with it. It can't do anything I want to do. And you know, it's like uh, Web OS. 
I am sorry that all Apple users completely and utterly crushes iOS. There is no well, well, okay. Bit. There's no tasking. I mean, in in, in Q and X, and, and from what I've been playing with, which is a real time operating system, in my opinion, also wipes the wipes the floor with with iOS. Well, I, what, what do you expect with WebOS? I mean, for crying out loud, here's what WebOS. WebOS is the brainchild of Palm hiring people from Apple that had their hands tied behind their back and said, go at it, do what you want to do. That, that, that's literally what WebOS is. Like, it's the people who worked on iOS who Steve Jobs said, no, don't do it that way. And Palm said, go at it. Do it that way. Do it the way you think's best. Go, go there. Uh, it's like, and that. Then you got you got WebOS. It's. Yeah. I'm not surprised you like WebOS a lot because you are an Apple person. You like the Apple way. And really, all WebOS is is uh, instead of being Unix based, it's Linux based, and they they basically they didn't have their hands tied behind their back. They were allowed to just go, uh, mm -hmm. and, and it. I, I agree with you. It, it's a better product. It's not my particular flavor, but yes, it, it, it's it's gesturous. It's like, I don't like gesturous, but if you like gesturous, so wait, I don't like gestures on a desktop, but on a tablet, they're to they're totally necessary. I mean, a tablet doesn't have a keyboard, and it's like you know, it's a slate. It's, it's totally necessary. And th what I get, what I'm getting at with the gestures is how QNX and WebOS treats applications and services running for you. Now, the only strength that iOS has ever had, in my opinion, was just infinite amount of application choices. But then when I look at applications, I would say that 90% of them, to me, would be worthless. You know, I don't give a crap about buying a Starbucks coffee using some stupid barcode on the damn phone. You know, I, I, it, it can't even do the most simplistic things that I needed to do which is uh, tethering to my phone, communicating with my phone, uh, SMS, receiving and getting phone calls. Uh, basically, this, this it can't it can't even hit any medical app that I use in a browser. It's absolutely worthless for any of the browser stuff that that I need. Uh, it, 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 to me, it's just absolute rubbish. And it's it's, it's like a, a standalone device that I guess for people that don't ever own own a. A computer, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that, that's just my opinion. And to me, I would just say, oh, well, it must be crazy. To me, it's crazy. That, the operating system alone, taking all the your system out, wipes the floor. I'm sorry. It's just pushing the home button twice to get multitasking for crying out loud and iOS and, and uh, I, dude, I'm sorry. No, no. It's one of the most, QNX and WebOS seem to be the most efficient for managing resources in my opinion because when you kill it it's actually killed and um, you can actually globally see everything that is, is running um, you can move from application and take data from application to other uh, applications uh, very quickly without all this little cumbersome home double touch or hold and press and hold for a while I mean this is all to me it's ridiculous stuff this is for Apple bragging about, oh, we're, we, we're the, all about the little things and how you manage something like that, they're crazy. It's, 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 to me, it's, it, that's why I never bought an iPad. I was like, this, this is an absolute fail to me in how you, you have to manage iOS. But one of these days, I have to get you to write an article. Like, we need to, like, do a comparison table of mm -hmm. Android, WebOS, Phone 7, iOS, and mm -hmm. we need to go through handles this, doesn't handle this, and, like, score them. We need to just go through. It's cause like, you're an Apple person. You develop for Apple. You, it's like, yeah. you want Max. You know, this is why I never got iOS and the iPhone and any of this stuff. Because, like, literally, from day one, it just, it was cumbersome. I actually got three iPhones, though. And I gave it a shot, right? It just drove me crazy compared to... I, it's, I, mean, I, I got so frustrated. Especially I, 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 went and play, I went and played with it. I went, I went to the store and played with it for an hour. And it was, uh, it, it was the most painful hour of my life. By the time I was done with that hour, I had no interest in ever having one of these things. Ever. You know, it's, it wasn't even that it was Apple. It was that 
I don't want to fight with this thing on a daily basis. I don't want to do it. I don't want to fight with it. <laughs> yeah, my two contenders, and, and see, I, I love Web OS, but I'm going to wait till they come out with the 7-inch. See, I, I, don't like the, I don't even like the size of the iPad. It's too big. I, to me, I, like I said, it's always a slave device to my phone. It's supposed to do what my phone can't with a better screen. I, 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 I think there's going to be some 7-inch devices, but I honestly think people like you are the minority. I think most people... the minority. See, when I look at one where you, oh, well, they sold 15 million. My comeback to that is, look, Bubblegum makes money too. All right? I'm, I'm, I'm in it for business, okay? Uh, people can take it and, and play games and look, look, most of my subscribers know that I have a gaming PC and all that. But when it comes to devices like this, I look at it and I'd say, why would I want to buy an iPad if it's just for a gaming device versus a, like dedicated gaming devices? Oh, so I can do email on it and all this stuff? And I, I mean, to me it's just like too many uh, contradictions for a consumer other than they're, they're, they're wooed in. Well, okay, the first thing you need to well, understand is these devices yeah. are not made <laughs> for people who want to get work done. They're right. made for people who uh, honestly they're made for the grandmas of the world who just want to push the big giant shiny button it, it, but the, the, I don't think the, the, the uh, iPad does that no um, no no well the iPad was missing many features until recently that was necessary for that yeah. like the ability yes, to I, like, I see many old people at all with an iPad no 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 no. Here, here was what you needed to sell the iPad to old people. A person with an iPad. No no bit. What you here, here was the problem with the iPad and why no grandma would ever buy it, even though that's who it's designed for. The iPad is designed for two niches. It's designed for ten to 24 year old kids who are not interested in actually getting anything productive done, they're interested in playing with the excuse of, well see I'm doing something useful but I'm really playing. Uh, and it's made for people who are never going to own a computer or don't want to use one like the, the old fogies who need something to read the emails from their kids or get or get their publication that's no longer printed but is now in e-form and so on and so forth. But the pro but with the young people, okay, it clicks. But with the old people, the problem was, okay, they pull their nice shiny iPad out of the box and they want to use it. Only they need the computer they don't have to turn it on. Uh, and that was the problem. That was where it failed. Basically, they had to call their kid or their nephew or their son or their daughter or whatever and go, okay, make it work. Right. <laughs> it's like, and well, it's like an Apple did finally get, maybe that was an oversight because they fixed that in the latest. Like, it's like, okay, it can actually activate itself now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I don't mean to say it as, as offensively, but I'm, I'm tired of pundits looking through an Apple lens, right? I don't think they're as objective as they should be, is, is, is my point. And uh, I, I get it, it frustrates me to no end that, at least in my opinion, because I try to be as objective as possible. I will admit that BlackBerry and HP are nowhere near the ecosystem in applications, but applications aren't everything. You can have 250,000 worthless apps. And it, it, it really, it really... Uh, comes down to, well, if they say, like, again, I, I said that we're almost for the price of what they sold, 15 million. Okay, great. You, you, can, you can make millions of dollars uh, on, on relatively uh, giving very little to, the, to, to, to uh, what am I getting at? A very little substance. In other words, what was it? Uh, Bobby Darren, one of his most uh, famous songs, he even insulted himself. He goes, you know, there's no intellectual capacity behind this song, which was... Um, <laughs> uh, something on a Saturday night or something like that. Uh, I can't remember the words. It was like his biggest hit, but it had no intellectual capacity. And he himself was like, oh, you know, this, this is like very popular, but hey, you know, whatever. It is what it is. And then, uh, if you can, so uh, my thing is, is and I don't, I, I, I know many Apple fans will cringe at it, but look, a, a person made millions and millions of dollars on pet rocks, okay? Uh, you don't need to do much 
uh, for humanity to get to, to give you money. That doesn't mean that. Uh, no, no. In, in fact, getting on that note, um, if you if you can set your ethics aside and basically promise the moon and just sign off, the reality is within two years anybody can be a millionaire. It's that it, it really is that easy. It just requires overselling, signing, uh, and basically just going. Oh, this too will be magical. And it's like there's a number of people who do it. There's a number of sun. It, it's it's that easy. It's you just have to be able to say you're at the sun. Anyways, on this note, do you have anything to add, Philip? I mean, just from what you were saying about the, the obviously like the press and whatever you like looking for an apple lens, as you put it. I mean, I can see kind of why you're looking at it that way, but then again, I, I kind of wonder if that is 100% true, because when you look at the two most major incidences that Apple have had recently, Antenna Gate, and then of course just recently Final Cut, everyone has gone absolutely nuts about it, so when Apple do real, really screw up, you know, people don't let, let them get away with it. Well, no, I, 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 here's what I think it is. Um, I think they've screwed up so much lately that they've got a chink in their magical perfection armor. Uh, so that now it, it's not, oh, yeah, it's on. It, it's, it, it's, it's, it's like... I actually have an answer for Phil on, on why that, why it is the way it is. Go ahead. Final Cut is, it, people are going mad for it because that is one of the last bastions, Phil, of, of true professional products from Apple. That is a true... Pro product. It's not bubble gum, and I don't. I, I, I know. <laughs> I, 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 I'm coming off insulting, but sorry. Um, uh, it, it's it's a pro product, and and they completely changed it. And this is a lot of things. You've been you've been with us on a lot of shows where we've talked about the deterioration of pro and enterprise from Apple and our displacement of it or shifting it around. And, and that's exactly um, what Final Cut 10 is. It, yeah. it, it, and, it's and, more see, of they that. they stepped in it. Because they stepped in the professional world, finally, and by changing their one of their biggest pro products, and they got their hand bit. Now, as far as Intenigate, why? Well, because, quite frankly, and I've probably been one of the worst recipients of it, is that the damned iPhone cannot make a call if it's life dependent on it. And hold a freaking phone call if it's life dependent on it, okay? Now, I don't care if many, many users, uh, oh, well, it works for me. I, I hear it all the time, and in Europe, fine. Come come here. You know, <laughs> you can take that damn phone and see if you can freaking live with it, okay? All right? I went through three freaking phones. It's, I, I just, they just, just, you should just call it I, because the phone part don't, doesn't work. And, and and I have, I have um, many friends that still own iPhones. I look at them. What's your, what's your problem? Oh, I love this app, and this app is so cool. Then buy a touch. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's like the opportunity cost to make the phone. And, but the master of texting, most of them can text like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> and uh, it, it, they're, they're like, well, you know, it does all these other things so much better that I don't really care. And it's like, okay, why didn't you buy a touch? Right, exactly. It's, and I can't tell you how many people I run into that are like that. And they'll say, oh, yeah, I get drop calls all the time. No, it, it, it. But they don't care. And, and let me tell you, a lot of these people are playing games on the iPhone. You know, they can do it at work and meetings and stuff like that. Because I guess that, you know, I, I, I could answer my own question. Why would somebody own an iPad? I guess it looks cooler to own an iPad and game on it than it would be like holding a Nintendo DS. Because it, isn't that all about, probably about vanity and saying, oh, well, if I was holding a Nintendo DS, somebody would think I'm, I, I'm an I, idiot. I, 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 I think you've hit the nail on the head right I there. I steal my bubble gumness and playing, and playing uh, a game and I have a neat little cover and look sophisticated, and it's got an apple logo. And, 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 and people wonder why, like, I start deducting IQ points when I see Apple logos, because there's enough of those people. A present company excluded, but nine times out of ten, when I see Apple logos, I just start deducting IQ points, because it's, like, I, I, I'm like, oh, so you're a bubblegum person. Yeah, cool. How's your status symbol there? It's like, and now, it, it, it becomes very clear 
very quickly if you've misjudged. There are some people, it's like, and it becomes very clear very quickly. You know, it's like, but more often than not, you know, it's it's the people you're talking about, the bubblegum people. That's. Um, and, 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 and let's be clear. What I mean by bubblegum is is fun time. You know, it's uh, consumer fun stuff. Usually, nothing uh, of utility or productivity associated with it. Which is it's it's it's, uh, it's fine. It makes money and all that. But like this article that you have up or about the touchpad, HP itself admits and says, look, the touchpad is 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 not meant to take the market away from iPad. It is instead aimed at enterprise. And maybe that's what attracts me to it and RIM's playbook. I, I, I am not going to buy a device to just go and socialize with people on Facebook with and, and sell them a freaking pig or, or uh, do some sort of mafia con, con, conglomerate con whatever that they do in Mafia Wars or have a, have a, a nice little magazine uh, of everybody's Twitter feeds and things like this. Uh, or, or or take my device and roll it around into a ball and go into a little peg hole or something like that. Hey, the labyrinth demo was cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice Android stab. <laughs> yeah, I took that. I was like, so, hey, Android's got to share bubble gum. You know, it's like, hey, I, we all have the, we all, I am a bubble gum user, half, when I'm not working, but. I'm not gonna. Put, I'm not gonna lay down five hundred, six hundred dollars to conceal it. You know, instead of buying some like Nintendo DS, if I really wanted to, if I really wanted to play games and do it, I, I'd buy the you know the dedicated device. Isn't that what Apple fanboys used to, uh, the purists used to say against the PC users? Why are you giving them your PC? Why don't you buy a console? Get a console. It's dedicated to play. You know, it's okay. Well, hello. Well, don't you see your contradiction with the iPad now? Uh, no, let's see. Okay, bet you've broke the first rule. That that's like the first commandment of the Church of Apple. When Apple says this, it's right. Rule number two. When rule when Apple says something that violates rule number one, the new rule number one ignores that the old rule number one ever existed. Apple's now all about the no no we never you know no 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 the world was never round it is flat it has been commanded there was never a round world what are you talking about <laughs> it's like it's like <laughs> yeah see this is a brilliant response we think there's better opportunity for us to go after enterprise space than those consumers that use PCs as you said this is a market is in its infancy and there's plenty of room. For both of us to grow, we think of the we think the world of Apple and have the utmost respect for their products. Continue. It would be ignorant for us to say that we are going to take it the market away from Apple. So now it's rumored that HP will come out with a seven-inch tablet. So I hope so because that will that's the form factor I'm after. So there's two things. I guess it's what happens first. If if BlackBerry comes out with a QNX a QNX based BlackBerry, they may get my business. If HP comes out with a 7-inch tablet, as they purport in August, then they probably already have my sale. So, that's what I want from HP. Uh, WebOS is really badass. QNX, to me, is very much like uh, we uh, WebOS. So, um, it, it just depends on which product comes out first, because that's what I want. I want a 7-inch tablet using either the QNX operating system or the WebOS operating system. Um, and... I think I'm set. You know that that's what I'm after. Uh, you say that, but what price point would you be willing to buy it at? They're both the same price. Okay. I think they're going to both be the same price. Maybe HP may undercut them. But WebOS has WebOS can actually receive phone calls on the tablet, which is still a super a super plus for me. Whereas BlackBerry can tether and do many things from the phone onward, but. Uh, um, WebOS is a big, that's a big plus for me. You know, I have a good friend on YouTube that can only use iOS because his, he's a pharmacist, and uh, or a pharmacist student, and unfortunately, WebOS used to have the software suite um, that he, he, he needs for his day, you know, his day-to-day -day studies, and um, it turns out that iOS is the only platform that uh, he's 
able to run on. And he would love, would love, love to have the power of WebOpen and how it handles everything with that application. Well, no, and this goes but back. But you can't have that. So it's kind of like what Apple users used to say about Windows. Oh, well, Windows is clunky. Oh, but it's got all the applications on it. And see, to me, it's like iOS is clunky, but it has all the applications on it. Yeah, that's about right. I mean, I'm sorry. To me, it is clunky. I don't know what people are talking about and how it's finesse. Yeah, yeah, finesse. Yeah, yeah, bit, Every bit. iPhone that I've owned and my wife's iPhone 4 freezes. We have flickers. Sometimes it stalls. I can't even tell you how many times my 3GS bricked. Bit, you know, my three only bricked once. But you're asking the wrong person. After all the times I saw Tiny's phone screw up and all the other things I see, as a, I, 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 I don't understand it. You know, they, they sit up here and they'll rip Android a new one every time anything. On, and I'm like, I've seen worse out of iOS, but yet it, yeah. it's, it's yeah. flawless. It's magical. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Android needs to freaking trim itself down or do something. I don't know, man. Every time I use it, I, it's the same thing that I felt with Android phones in my HTC Evo. Way too much clicking. I don't know where the hell to go. I can't even tell if a damn thing is shut down applications properly, and I hate having to install third. Based on all the complaints you make about Android and all the raids you make about WebOS, yeah. it. it you you have a mindset you go for and that a way you want to interface with and it's not the path Android has chosen. I know. So it's like and and it is the path I prefer. So it's like I I, I would probably I would probably be driven nuts by WebOS in the same way you're driven nuts by Android. But in, in spite of everything else, it's like it's like we just want very different UIs. Like I. I Hey, Philip, what do you use for a phone? I never ask. You have a Mac computer, and you have an iPad, <laughs> which we've just spent the last hour bashing. <laughs> <laughs> for now, um, it's the iPhone, but I'm not sure how long it's going to stay that way, to be honest. Oh! To be honest, do, do tell, I'm, do really, tell. I'm really not sure. <laughs> Is there anything we said? <laughs> No, no, more than anything, it's to do with something that Apple has done, or should I say not done, let's put it that way. Uh, w w which in particular, I can think of many, but which in particular is the one that's most driving you away from the platform? I think the final straw for me was the fact that, you know, um, when, uh, when, it, when I was watching, because I, I was already like, just keeping an eye on Android to see what they were doing, like... Um, and when I saw that Google released their beta in the US and that was as far as they were going with it for the music so I thought right well I thought now Apple's got a chance to beat them to the punch and bring something out where they've already got the content deals with the industry and bring it out worldwide and what did they do is they've done exactly what Google have done so they haven't played to beat them they've just stayed and basically gone as far as Google have so I'm sorry, I don't know whether I want to stick around with that because if Apple aren't playing to, to prove that they can do better, then is that really worth sticking around for? And Android, and Android from what I can see, probably is more flexible. I think I would just enjoy the flexibility of it, to be honest. Oh, no, that, 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 that is like the real thing I'm noticing out of Apple as of late. They sit up and claim they've invented the moon, but all they've done is just like, Oh, well, now that we know where everybody else has set the line, let's try and come up to it. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. So, like, well, 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 it's like with the iPad 2, again, there was nothing really dramatic about that revision, and so, again, they just went as far as they had to just to stay... The, the, only thing that's, the only thing that's really even remotely interesting about the iPad 2 is they did do an okay job with the graphics. But that really only matters if you're one of the bubble. Again, a gamer. Yeah, yeah. If you're a bubblegum person, <laughs> it's like <laughs> the bubblegum people will like that. The people getting work done and trying to actually use the device on day to day, they could give a shit. <laughs> truly, I mean, truly, I know. It's like, see, I don't. In, in my line of work, it's really all about business. Let me tell you, and and people try to streamlined to the point where productivity is very much so 
Uh, we'll get unproductive, and then people like you and me will come in and design elegant UIs to do what we could do 10 years ago, and they'll pay us hundreds of thousands of dollars, and you and I can retire on our own private islands. <laughs> I mean, it's a, there is a place for both. You know, I like to chew it, too. Uh, but, uh, uh, these are devices that I use for productivity. I, I don't lay down that much cash just to, you know, just to, uh, I guess just for a uh, luxury. Uh, I, 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 well, no, no, I, 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 I lay down cash on some things. I mean, like, uh, I mean, heck, one of the computers here I have, even though it's running Linux, but between all the software I've put into it, it's a $10,000 computer. We're going to all the stuff I bought to add on to it and everything else. But that's because it makes me more productive. You know, it lets me earn tens of thousands of dollars a year. It's worth it. It's a tool. Uh, but if it's not doing the tool and doing that job, there's no way in hell I'd spend that money on it. It's, you know, it's, you, you, you can only justify so much purely what the effing is fun. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and, and just about the only thing that I will spend 100% luxury fun on is a vacation, you know. But if, it, if it's a product or something, especially electronics, my mind is always, all right, is, this, is, this has got to be a corporate tax write-off. Um, you know, I, I've got to use no matter productivity from it, this and that, and what services it's going to provide me. So. Well, no, and, and honestly, I have a hard time having just fun with technology. I mean, I, I do. I'm a geek, and I like to have But when I go on vacation, vacation, my idea of a vacation is being in the middle of the frickin' mountains where there's no cell phone towers anywhere in range. Basically, uh, I'm like, okay, I, I get a little panicked because my phone, my son, nothing's working, but I'm also, I am now officially on vacation. Nobody can right. reach me. I am now officially free. <laughs> yeah. Now, we all might be in like, like minds here, and this will be for Phil and, and you. See, things that Apple goes on and plays very big strengths on like these, these, these photo things. I have never in my life, whether it's, it's, it's an electronic device or a physical paper photo, gone to a person that I know or a friend and say, hey, look at these photos. I've never done that, man. I don't, I don't, I don't live to go to my friend's house and, and then take my, like if I had an iPad and go, oh, look at these photos. What? Uh, 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 do, do a lot of people do that? I mean, I don't, uh, I don't do people. it, but I have been abducted by the people that do. <laughs> so they do exist. I don't know. I don't know, man. Because like for me, that my I would be. I don't know, that'd be odd, awkward for me. Because most of most of my friends and family know where to go if they want to see. If they like, we'll take pictures. We'll have fun. We'll go and take the kids places and stuff like that. Everybody knows me. It's like boom. It's going to be where where it used to be on Mobile Me. Now it's now it's in a different location. They know where to go there, and they can upload their photos. They can they can download the photos. They can comment to the stuff. I, I don't physically take a damn device or, or, or physically shove photos in their face and say, "Oh, look how cute." I've never. Yeah, I, I don't, I've never well, done like that. I said, it's but, not me. But I've been abducted by these people, and they do. They, that's that is that is the right word. They abduct you and, and hold you captive. I mean, that's to the intrusiveness, isn't it? To me, that's like a, a personality of intrusiveness. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but they they they, 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 like I said, they abduct you, and you don't really get a choice in the matter. It's just like you you just go, uh huh. Wow, how nice. That's like <laughs> I I just. To me, when I watch these presentations and, 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 and like Jobs made a statement, he says, okay, you'll take photos on your iPhone and then the photos will be right for you on the iPad to show to your friends and family. Huh? That is, that's my brain, that's, that, the, my brain just short circuits with shit like that. I was like, what? I mean, I, I, most people I know I don't, you know, don't do that. My, my, my uh, uh, family, no. I mean, we've, we have our locations or something like that. I mean, they, they, I... I, I wonder how much time it consumes in one person's day to keep reflecting on things they already have lived. I don't know. Uh, you know, it may, uh, maybe I don't give a shit about it because I have a pretty good memory. Aside from the fact that there's like a 13, 14-year-old hole in my past where I literally have no memory, 
Uh, but setting that aside, aside from that big massive hole, um, I largely remember almost everything, so I have no need to relive it because it, it's there <laughs> in there. That's, that's like looking at really, really, really old photos sometimes when you're with family, maybe it's a family reunion, you want to look at your parents and their kids or something like that. Um, and don't get me wrong, my wife loves to, my wife's a photo queen, man. We've got gigs of photos, okay? I've got offline hard drives and everything, but she never, ever, ever goes to someone who, oh, just look. She has she's never taken her iPhone or anything. They go, oh, look at these photos. Never has happened. And she loves to take photos. She is all about making wonderful albums, and she does all these little cute little things, and she, she, she loves that stuff. But she's not, in, she's not that personality, I guess, that goes, oh, but look at this. It's just like, I guess what so it's supposed to so it's like when I see and I hear that I'm like, really? What, 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 I, what, what, what about you, Philip? Do you have anybody who gets off on this? What the effingness or? Yeah, but personally, I think, again, it sounds pretty uh, similar to what you've just said. Bit that you know, I mean, there's members of my family that enjoy taking photos, but they do it purely just for for their own, you know, keeps. Like, you know, what I mean, but they don't go having to show it to everybody. I just don't, yeah. It's like, to me, it's like, what the hell? <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, I, I've said it several you times. Said, I eat them if the masses do it, whatever. No, I no, no I, I, I accepted a long time ago, I'm not normal, and I'm beginning to accept that somehow I've become an old fart, and I just don't understand people or what anybody does anymore, and I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I know. It's, it's, there's, I, there's some things that I see that I, that I say, you know, that's great. This guy did a, a really good idea. He's made millions, you know, from it. But the way my mind works is that you could give me a million years and I would never come up with it. It's, it I just, I guess I just, so I want to do things like write programs and how to make something faster for you or make, make a utility much more efficient or efficient, uh, especially like, like with hospital programs I work with. And, and, and pleasing diet. It's all, to me, it's all about performance and productivity. And I and I actually sit there. And you try know to think, what? You, you talk oh about goodness. hospital stuff so much. And in, in the future, when somebody, when I die because somebody screws up my medical records, I, with my dying tongue, I'm going to go, "Damn you, bitch!" <laughs> <laughs> Because I'll know you had something to do with it. <laughs> yeah, I totally have. 